We've got lots to cover today with Liberal National Party Senator for Queensland, Matt Canavan. Matt, thank you very much for your time tonight. The ABC certainly in the spotlight this week with Managing Director David Anderson fronting Senate estimates this afternoon. Looks like he was grilled over the Stan Grant debacle. Here's what he had to say. I can't confirm whether it was us that supplied that information uh, or how, for that matter, it was counted. Mm -hmm. I will confirm there were many, many stories around our mm -hmm. coronation broadcast mm -hmm. uh, that were covered by many outlets, but including News Corp. Yeah. What I will say is that in amongst all of that reporting, there were inaccuracies in what was reported. ABC Breakfast host Michael Rowland also announced he's going to take leave over the Stan Grant situation. Seems like there's big problems within the ABC that go right to the top. Tell me your take on these things, please, Matt. Well, um, <clears throat> Amanda, you, you kind of have to wonder here when, when someone at the top will go because we have a situation here where a national broadcaster... Uh, faces serious accusations of entrenched racism within its ranks from its own staff. I mean, these aren't coming. The criticisms uh, of the ABC in this regard aren't coming from Sky News or The Australian or even people in the political game like myself. Um, they're, they're their own staff and, and traditionally supporters of the ABC are, are accusing a national broadcaster of being racist. And we can't have uh, a publicly funded broadcaster in this country that's... Uh, that's not that's seen to be potentially racist, and and so and, and in fact, Mr. Anderson, he's he's apologised apparently for these issues. So you've got to wonder why he's still there. Uh, if he has presided over racism within the organisation, uh, he's apparently apologised for it. Uh, why isn't he going? Why, why is he staying on in his position uh, while Stan Grant and other presenters apparently leave? Uh, and then you've got fundamentally got to ask the question: What is the point of the ABC anymore? I mean, it seems now to be have devolved into some sort of left-wing knitting circle where uh, where eventually they all eat their own, of course. And but we're just the long-suffering taxpayers have to fund it all. Let's take a look at that apology. Uh, look, it's a very difficult time for Stan Grant. It's a difficult time uh, for many people at the ABC, actually. Uh, but in particular, Stan, with what's happened and what's happened to him and what he has copped. Uh, we will always seek to protect um, our people. We feel I've apologised uh, for not um, publicly defending Stan soon enough and for letting Stan down with regard to support that was being provided from the ABC. So you heard just there David Anderson also responded in the earlier clip as well to claims in The Australian today about high-profile figures at the ABC and at other mainstream media outlets peddling false claims and exaggerating news corps that's us here at Sky, coverage of the ABC's coronation um, broadcasting. The Guardian reported there had been more than 150 mentions of the ABC's coronation coverage and Stan Grant by the Australian and Sky News in the two weeks since the broadcast. That claim was then repeated by a number of ABC journalists, including Radio National breakfast host Patricia Cavellis, among many others. But it turns out the actual number of mentions on Sky News and The Australian was a lot lower. And yet we're the ones accused of fake news. What's the right thing to do with the ABC in circumstances where they are so far <laughs> off course, Matt? I think it's just got to go, doesn't it, Amanda? I mean, what's, as I say, what's the point of this anymore? Or maybe, maybe if there is a point to the ABC, we'll see the ABC fact-check unit uh, fact check uh, these claims that were being made on, on the ABC, apparently uh, having been recycled from the Guardian website. I won't hold my breath, though, for the ABC to look into itself. I mean, they <laughs> pretty much fact check me every time I, I, I say what I had on, on my toast for breakfast. Uh, it doesn't take them much to do that. Um, but, but when it comes to their own side, it's apparently a free pass. And I mean, I just think in the modern world, what, why have we got this publicly funded broadcaster like this? There's access to so much information now uh, online, lots of different news sources. Uh, it's costing us over a billion dollars. And as I say, apparently, uh, 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 apparently, uh, according to people on the inside there, systemically racist organisation. Why, why, why should we keep funding it like this? And uh, if they can't change, if there's not massive, a massive reset here on the ABC's behalf, uh, it calls into question the whole existence of the place.
And if those claims of systemic racism are right, they wouldn't be tolerated in any other government workplace, and nor should they. Um, and mm. so the kind of drastic action we'd expect in any other department is exactly what should be um, applicable to the ABC, and it should go right to the top. The ABC's director of news, Justin Stevens, was also at the hearing, and he walked back the claims he made on Melbourne radio this week that, quote, News Limited will do anything they can to campaign against the ABC. But today he said something a little bit different. The coverage of the ABC and the criticism of the ABC's coverage was not limited to News Corp. Um, Nine and other publishers uh, were very critical as well. Uh, my point this week is about what I think is actually a new dynamic. And I think what we're looking for, I think the last thing the public want is media companies arguing with each other and making themselves the story. They don't want that. But I think all media companies, including the ABC, including News Corp, including Nine, need to figure out how we foster a kinder, fairer discourse. It strikes me, Matt, that all the, all the bickering between media organisations has been um, affected at the ABC end, but what's your take? Well, I, I mean, I think... Let's translate there what, what the ABC executive uh, said. Uh, effectively, what he's saying is that any criticism uh, of a publicly funded broadcaster is, uh, is inappropriate. Uh, now, now you, you get you take a billion dollars from the Australian taxpayers every year. Your viewers are paying for that. Uh, you have to be subject and should be subject to scrutiny. There is nothing wrong with Channel Nine or yourselves or the Australian uh, criticising a publicly funded broadcaster. It's a free country, or it used to be, and uh, free media should be allowed to freely uh, criticise what they like. And let's keep in mind here the, the actual issue at contention. Uh, it's not just the media complaining about the ABC's coronation cover coverage. I, I have to admit I didn't bother turning it on because I knew what to expect, but it's had more complaints than almost any other show in Australia's history. The Australian public were appalled uh, by the way the ABC treated the Australian public and the public's views deserve to be reflected in uh, free media in this country too.